Okay, I finally got my second top loader done with with uh, Tim Worthington's NES RGB kit. Uh, I've got it all done. It's got um, the double pull, double throw pallet switch to switch between the three pallets, and a multi out connector with uh, a scart con scart cord connected right to my PVM. I've tested it all out. It's all okay. Um, this video is mostly going to be about testing it with an, an XRGB Mini. And I also have some of these uh, CSY2100s. I've got a black one and a silver one. I think they're pretty much the same thing. The silver one is a CSY2100G. They look exactly the same on the inside, so whatever. So I'll um, hook it up to the frame meister and see what it looks like on the LCD. Okay, so first test with the XRGB, and I basically, you can see that in the camera, I'm getting a no input thing again. And if you remember, I put a switch on the adapter cord, yeah, no input, to bypass the sink stripper that's built in to the uh, scart head of the adapter cord. But it doesn't seem to matter. what I do with that, I am not getting an image. So I'm starting to wonder if maybe I need to bypass uh, capacitors on the outputs of the NSCRGB kit, because uh, the cords do have the caps in the head. and been brought up in the thread that maybe they shouldn't be there, including composite video, which this one does not have the cap on the composite video pin, but my, my shitty cord does, actually, but I, I couldn't get either one to work, so I need to uh, investigate that a little bit more. Okay, with a little bit of screwing around, it looks like I have to bypass the sink stripper and I have to feed it composite sync on the composite video pin. The only reason the screen is blue is because this damn connector is not making good contact. There you go. Really need to figure that out too. I don't know if it's just these pins are too thin. It's not like they can be excessively dirty or anything. Or can these be crimped so they're making better contact? I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to look into this a little bit more. But it looks like I've got this figured out. I don't need to bypass capacitors or anything. Um, I think. Let's see, I don't remember. I don't I think there is no capacitor on the composite video line in this on this on the scart cord in the scart head. There is a 0.1 microfarad cap on the input line of this, and even in bypass mode it's still going through that cap. So the caps don't seem to make much difference. I guess I could try my my old scart cord that I know has a another 220 on the composite pin. Still in bypass. And feed composite sink. So maybe that big cap on the composite line in the scart head does make a difference. Which there is no... I don't believe there's a big cap on the composite sink output. 
And I think maybe since he's using the XRGB Mini, he's not going to care about composite video output on the multi-out. So what I might do is just wire composite sync to both pins on the multi-out. And then just bypass composite video output altogether. I don't think this customer would mind, but it might be something I might want to mention to other people that are going to have RGB out and then use the Frame Meister. And then of course, what's it going to do with that... Uh, the CSY 2100s or whatever those things are. I think those will use either probably. I guess I could hook one of those up real quick and see. Okay, so for the RGB to component converter, the CSY 2100s or whatever, if you can, you can barely see it on the screen, that seems to work fine with the composite video and composite sync pins hooked up as they should be on the multi-out fed through the Euro SCART cord to it so it can be wired completely normal and the screen looks absolutely beautiful however the mini the mini seems to be the, uh, the stranger here okay now I'm feeding the CSY2100 composite sync through the composite video pin in the multi-out and, it, and it's also accepting that just fine. So it could be wired that way for both the uh, CSY2100 or the Mini. So I don't know. It's still strange though. Okay, so I've still got um, the composite video and composite sync pins both wired to composite sync output of the RGB board. And I think what I'm going to do is put the camera in front of the LCD here and just go through some of the different ways uh, HDMI and component. And I also have this video I can show as well since that's still hooked up. Uh, and I'll no longer be able to show composite. It's the only thing. Okay, so we are in HDMI. It looks absolutely perfect, of course. Let me see if I can just go right to the game here. Now normally I could pick out jail bars on the other RGB mod and I can't see anything. I mean, everywhere I look, looks just pixel perfect. And of course, I think I'm in improved palette right now. And that's Play Choice 10, and that's the regular composite palette. Not a lot of difference between these, actually. Leave it back in improved palette. It's my favorite. And then I will pause here and uh, let's change it back over to component. Okay, go up to component. Does the meter does it look stretched or looks like the aspect ratio is different? I don't know, but. As far as quality of the picture, it's still really good. Although, actually, I'm actually seeing 
vertical streaks in the gray. Now I'm on the uh, CSY 2100 RGB component converter, so I'm not expecting perfection compared to the Mini especially, but it is still much better than uh, when we were doing it with the P Play Choice 10 PPU RGB mod. But yeah, that still looks really good. Um, I'm going to switch to, let's try S video now. Okay, for completely unknown reasons, it's working now. All I did was unplug it and plug it back in. I have no idea why it's working all of a sudden. But anyway, again, hard to see any imperfections. some faint vertical bars but oh man it's so faint I mean to me that looks just as good as the uh, well I don't know the edges of the pixels might be a little soft when you start really looking in there Ooh, yeah, it looks a little soft just a little worlds worlds better than uh, Old school RF or composite out of the top loader, that's for sure. Or the NES. So yeah, I think, I mean, that looks, that looks good, but for uh, the amount of money that you're going to spend to get it, <laughs> you might as well be going HDMI or component or even just RGB if you get an RGB monitor. Yeah. Anyway, I think that's enough testing for now.